Hello everyone and welcome back to another Build With Me series. So today we're going to go ahead and start, what well, usually what I end up doing is I just kind of go, I kind of go from wherever I last left off. So since I was in the kitchen the last time, um, I will then go and either do this quarter bath here or I will start working on the dining room here. So something I'm noticing while I'm in that I must not have noticed when I was in here before, we have a coloring issue here, as in that never got recolored. So let's go ahead and get that recolored real quick so we don't forget about it. So I think what I am going to do is I am going to go ahead and move on and just do this quarter bath here. <clears throat> and a lot of times what I just do, I just pick what I already have in the kitchen. I don't know. I Sometimes I pick something different, but I like, I prefer to be able to put... Ah, uh, you know what? I need to put some cheats on. <laughs> I never seem to do this before I start recording and then I go to use them and they're not there. So <laughs> there we go. We're just going to go ahead and put that there. I like to use those because I like to put in my own sink. I don't know why. I just think it looks better. Uh, better than one like this here. I don't know. I just don't. I guess if I was doing an old fashioned house, maybe. Um, or something modern like, whatever that is. I mean, that, yeah. Um, but I don't know. I just don't use stuff like this. I, I don't know. I just don't. I like to put in my own sink. And usually what I end up putting in is this one here because it's a good one if you're going to hide laundry baskets. But since this house does not have a laundry room, I can pretty much put whatever I want. Um, I try to stay away from anything like this that looked like it would be in a kitchen. Or like this one here. I guess that looks like it could be in a utility room, I guess. So, but something more like this would look nice probably in there. Um, we can probably go with that one. That one doesn't look too bad. Go with something a little different than what I normally pick anyway. Or like the squatter sink I pick quite often. But why don't we, since I always use the unsinkable sink all the time, why don't we go ahead and use this one? And I just plop it in. And I like to have, I like to change the faucet. If I can, I guess maybe I probably should put a light in. We're going to go ahead and put a light in. I usually do almost always, just about every single time in the bathrooms, I use this light. Uh, I, I just do. I like it because it's simple. It works. Um, I'm not too, my bathrooms don't really change a whole lot. Uh, they are pretty much the same from one to the other. So we're going to go ahead. I never remember what order these are in. Okay, so tile, I usually pick, I usually go with this one or I'll go with one of these ones if I want to have like a paint color. Um, that one ain't too bad. I use that. I don't use these ones here where it's all tile all the way up. <laughs> like this, the two different ones, too often. I think I'm just going to go ahead and go with this one. It's what I usually do. Uh, my common one. And then we're going to go ahead and we're not going to spend too much time on a quarter bath. I really don't spend too much. You could use a porcelain throne. It does cost more. It makes your house worth a lot more. But honestly, I don't. I just don't use it. I don't like the way it looks. And that is why I use this one. I like, for whatever reason, I like the design that's on top of the toilet. <laughs> so now we're just going to go ahead and put in the usual accessories that I normally put in. Uh, you can put in a flower if you want. That's a nice flower to put in here. Uh, I usually do, sometimes I do tissues if I have enough room. Don't forget the toilet paper. Need that. Uh, usually what I put in then, let's go ahead and get some towels. So what I'm going to do, since the towels are never high enough, they always go into the counter for some reason. I'm going to hold my left mouse button. I'm going to hit Alt, put down Alt at the same time, and I'm just going to rise it up. I'm just going to go a little bit higher than what the tile is. You can, of course, you know, in real life put things down on tile, but, you know, I'm not going to really... I don't really care, so 
that's usually just what I do. So we're gonna go ahead and get hand soap. There we go. Sins need to wash their hands. Uh, then we should have probably a mirror. So I usually grab this one. I have it pre-colored to white. I'm gonna put that mirror in. Let's go ahead and do some recoloring since I, let's, let's move a little. Oh, there's a piece that never got colored. That is a good reason to move your camera around, just in case that happens. Um, let's go ahead. I kind of like the color that it currently is. So, these stones, honestly, they never, I, I don't think they look quite right when they're on the counter. So, I usually just go around and I pick like more or less the stone design and then I try to mess with these colors there's no guarantees that it's gonna look good always looks a little off I think so we're just gonna kind of mess with this a little bit go the other way Well, that don't look too bad, I guess. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I I still don't think I'm sold on that. Let's try darkening this up maybe a little bit. That seems to be too pink. That might be okay. Mm, you know, I'm still not sold on it, but if you want to know what the color number is, um, this light colored one is FFF3D0, and then this dark one is 575243. Um, but I, I still don't know if I'm 100% sold on it, to be honest. Okay. So these, maybe if I just change the color of this. I don't know too bad. We could probably go dark. Uh, now that kind of, that don't even match. Now we can't really go with that. That doesn't look good. Um, that looks much better. Much better. That just the basic comes in the game. Um, I didn't change any colors. It's this one right here. Next to this yellow one. That looks a little bit better. And then we're just going to go ahead And let's see, one of these should be the paint on top. We will go ahead and give it a little bit of something. I don't know if I really want to go with that per se. Uh, no. Um, sometimes I like to have a little bit of texture in it. So I'll pick a fabric because it'll kind of look, because you can get texture when you do paint, so it's not impossible. You know, I really don't know what color I want to make this, to be honest. <laughs> um, yeah, that don't look good. Let's just go to paint, and I tend to pick this first yellow one here. And I usually just kind of move it around until I find something I like. Because I have no idea what color I want to go with. Um, well, blue don't look too awful bad, I guess. And that works. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get this one color over here. So I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time on the bathroom. And what I'm doing, I'm spending a lot of time on the bathroom. <laughs> I'm just going to copy the same flooring over. Now what you can do, and it's what I normally do, is I then take this tile color here and I will move it to the floor. And I'll put it in one of them. There we go. What I should have done is displayed one because now I need to either 
put new down or bring my color palette here on over and I'm going to grab these dots here where you get the little hand and then you can grab drag it to whatever you want to recolor and voila that is now done okay so let's see now pretty much all I really do is I just kind of put and I got my flooring and I got you know accessories whatever everything in I just go ahead and I grab stuff to put in like this modern oval rug if you turn it and have and then put it right here it kind of looks like one of those rugs that you can put by your toilet so that's kind of what I use and then I'm just going to use one of these just because I, I think it helps <laughs> ah now you can put a plant I do like to put the sphere of ivy because it actually well and of course not in the toilet or anything but you can put it like right here beside the toilet and it's not in your sims way and just adds a little something and then you can't forget the magazine to sit there and read while you're on the toilet so that's why I put these here because you know they want to read something so here they go so I'm just kind of spinning it to where it looks halfway decent uh, and then we're going to go ahead and put a wall decoration. I like to use either this this Grandma Wholesome Folk Art one or there's a flower one that I like to use in a bathroom. Um, I like to use the Beacon of Freedom and I like to use the Spring Blossom one. So that's what I'm going to use. Um, it looks like I already had a pre-color in white. So I like to have some that just have the white because it makes it just so much easier. So don't forget to do your recoloring. Make sure, you, you know, after you put rugs and stuff down, you get go in and do some recoloring of your rugs. Because you got to make sure that they, they look good. So let's go to fabrics. I'm just going to go with something basic. Um, I'm just going to go in that color there. Go here. Uh, we're not going to darken that one. We're going to darken the color in the middle. There we go. And then we're just going to drag it over because a lot of times you can get these in a set so your rugs usually matched each other. So we're just going to go ahead and take that over there. And I am going to call it go. Oh, I don't think I, I recolored the sink. So let's go ahead and why like they used a wood color so that tells you right there you can use pretty much whatever you want you're really not going to know that somebody used a different texture than what you would think so i'm just going to go to metal i like this one for some reason tends to be my more go to although no not that one that must not be it there we go that looks much better i'd rather have it all look like it's porcelain then have it look like it has a piece of metal around. Oh yeah, and then curtains. We cannot forget curtains. I almost forgot this room has a when or this bathroom has has curtains. So I usually just go with something basic uh, to give the illusion that you can shut them when you're in there and that you you know you don't have to if you don't want to type of thing. So we're just gonna go ahead and change this to white. There we go. And then just kind of darken them up and we're going to call it good. So let's go ahead and go to the dining room here. In the dining room we already have our color picked because of the kitchen here. So now I had thought about having the fireplace. As you can see I, I did end up taking it out. I took it out because I think it was going to be too much. You're not going to have enough room for a table and the fireplace, so that's why it's out. So, dining room, um, it's all. It just depends on what what you are looking to have in here. Uh, I just usually grab this basic one. Um, trying to decide how do I want to how do I want to do this this time? Because it is a good size. I think. I think I'm still going to go with that one. Uh, get some chairs. I usually go with 
either this one because I can change the cushion, you know, make the cushions match the room. I can use those ones I do. Occasionally I might use them once, but only, you know, if I want to be a little bit more fancy. Um, these aren't too bad. I, I like those ones. But I think in this case, I feel this house feels a little bit more country, so I'm going to go with either this one or this one. Um, I think I'm going to go with this one. So we're just going to go ahead and put them in. If your chairs just snap into place, then odds are your sims are going to be able to get to it. Even though I have moved objects on um, with dining room tables, if it's too, like I can put that as into that wall if I wanted to. But say I have it here, your chairs are not going to snap. If your sims can't get to it, they're not going to snap. So because I have it here and it snapped into place, that tells me that my sims can use it. <clears throat> so just a little little trick there if you're ever wondering I'm not sure if the chairs work what did the chair snap into place uh, then yes they can get to it as long as somewhere else around the table doesn't block them from getting into that area of the table because that can always happen you could always have it blocked somewhere else and they just can't get back in that area so that happens so in this category I believe it's this category I don't use it very often there are some china cabinets we're just gonna let it Looks like it's loaded already. Um, somewhere down here we have china cabinets. So we're just going to go ahead. This kitchen's a little bit big, so we're going to try to fill it up. Now if you have some store content, you can get some of these cute ones like this. as a country carved tableware cabinet. I think that one's super cute. I use it occasionally, but I am going to not use any store content in this build. Uh, so... I know they have some because I've used them. It's just a matter of finding them. <laughs> when you have so much stuff, sometimes it, it's really hard. I remember when I had custom content. I used to do custom content years ago. Oh my goodness. Sometimes I try to find the littlest things because I had way too much. Just like many of you out there, uh, I was addicted to custom content one at one time too. It was very, very difficult for me to get away from it. It took a long time to get used to not having it. So, okay, I'm back at the top. Did I miss it? Or am I in the wrong category? I could have swore this was the category. Oh, there it is. It's like I could have swore. It's a nice china cabinet right there. So that'll help fill up that wall a bit. Uh, let's see what else could we do we already have a little side table there so so sometimes what I do is I'll go ahead and I'll get one of the chairs and I'll just kind of set it in the corner because it's kind of like an extra chair like almost like you have just an extra chair that if you ever were to need it somebody can sit there and and use it so I think that looks pretty good I like to fill up as much as I can if I have empty walls or anything like that I like to put something in so now I'm going to use uh, let's see let's go ahead some of these is actually free and at the store I don't think that is one of them <laughs> Uh, I know this one is. That one's free, which I thought I didn't know. I kind of like that one, but I don't think I'm going to use it. This one is also another one that's free to download. It doesn't cost you anything. I mean, if you can get the free stuff, get the free stuff. Oh, this one's the one that's free in the store, not the other one. But I think I'm going to go ahead and use it. So, I mean, it is from the store, but again, it's free. You won't have to spend any money or anything on it. Did I put a mirror over there? No, I did not. So this will be a good time to put in a mirror. The mirror I like to use is this one. I find it very fancy. So there's that. Let's throw in a rug. There we go. Now you know me, I a lot of times have my rugs at slightly off. They're not perfect, but for a dining room, to me that needs to be like centered. <laughs> So uh, we'll go ahead with something a little bit more fancy. What do we have in here? We already have something. So why don't we go ahead and just go with what we already have. There we go. I'm not going to use a white 
table because that'll just be too bright and in your face type of color so we're going to go ahead sometimes all I do is I just darken it that'll make a nice nice color like I think that wood right there would look nice in this house so we're going to go ahead and go with that wood color and then we're going to go ahead and bring this wood color over to the chairs and do the same thing I'm just going to pick where we want it to go we want it to go on the wood there we go and what I'm going to do because a little little trick to make your creative style move a little faster is get into a category that's nice and small so like this one will work and it'll make your creative style look move a lot faster <laughs> okay so we're gonna go since we're doing blue in here in this room let's go with let's see what does that look like uh, no nope 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 that ain't gonna work uh, uh, no. I usually try to just pick something that might already, or I try to find maybe a pattern I like. Like, that one don't look too bad. Let's just change the pink part into, like, a blue. Let's make them a little darker, actually. There we go. And we're just going to lighten this up just a touch, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure what this other color is for, to be honest. <laughs> like, I didn't, I didn't see a difference just now when I did that. So I have no idea what that other color is for. But that ain't too bad. So it's not dark. So it kind of stands out from the darkness of the wood. But it brings in a little bit of the blue from the walls. So that's what we're going to use. So now we're just going to go ahead and recolor all of the chairs. Okay, there we go, went too far. And then there. We're gonna recolor this rug while we're in here. Might as well just do it all while we're in here. We're gonna pick that one because that's what we have. Actually, let's just go ahead and do that. Let's just bring this one over. Kind of like your Sims got a huge matching set. There we go. Kind of brings in the rugs from the kitchen. So then what I usually do like in small little areas like this, you can put in either a grandfather's clock or another thing I do is go to the end tables and all the way at the bottom. Well, no, no, it's not at the bottom. It's up a little bit right here. This La, La Petite table works great in cases like this. So we're just going to put that in and then I'm going to give it the same wood. It's like, um... The default to me reminds me of like particle, por particle board and very cheap. So I don't like to use it because of that reason. So uh, and usually what I put behind it, I usually put a plant on it and then I usually put a mirror behind it. So let's just find this will work. And then let's get a mirror. Um, this time, when I use this or do that table, it's usually, sometimes I use different kinds of mirrors. Just depends. Let's go with a big one because that flower is big. And of course, I'm not going to go with that, that red. That's just, no. <laughs> That's a little much. So I'm going to go ahead and just change that to white. There we go. And now this allows me to see where I want to put this because by default it is out here, but it's really far, I think, from the wall. So I'm just going to scoot it a little bit, just a little bit closer. So there, even though that to me don't look centered, it needs to be centered to the mirror, even though, you know, it's not, not technically centered. So we're going to go ahead and do curtains next. Um... Let's go with this one because it goes up a little higher. There we go. Yeah, we'll go ahead and go with that. And then we're going to go ahead and recolor it. Let's go. Just move that over. 
Actually, that didn't work. That kept the wood grain. I don't want the wood grain. Go to miscellaneous. There we go. And then we're just going to kind of make this a warmer color. Kind of goes with the rugs. So we're going to come over it and bring this over here as well. And that takes care of the dining room. I think that that works just fine for the dining room. Sometimes you don't need a whole lot. Uh, the next area we'll work on will be the living room here. We're, living room and entrance will be the next area that we will work on. Uh, if there's any suggestions, anything you would like to see in this house, go ahead and leave those below in the comments below as well. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I have tons of speed build videos. Uh, and I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.